See how to improve your store? Watch my Shopify dropshipping store reviews now. Hey everyone, it's Ricky Hayes here from Shopify Dropshipping Lifestyle and in today's video we're going into reviewing these stores but before we do, don't forget to like, share, comment and subscribe and hit the notification bell for updates, okay guys? And follow me on Instagram at Ricky Hayes IG where I provide heaps of value and I talk with you personally as well. Alright, so let's get straight into this. So this here, these stores are from um, some of the students in my mastermind group. Um, so I've just gotten four here that we'll just go through to give you an idea. So first thing when you, whenever you want to review a store is you need uh, at least one Chrome extension called Commerce Inspector. Okay, you want to get Commerce Inspector because it helps you to look into a store's data a lot more, as well as there's also similar web that allows you to look into things like I don't know why it's bugging right now, but um, because it's just not picking it up. But normally, once it loads, you can also look at their sources. So you can look at, is it from SEO? Is it from Google? Or is it from Facebook? So install those two Chrome extensions. They're both free. Just find them on the Google Store. So starting with Shop Declure. I presume that's how it pronounced. I'm sorry if I don't remember your name. So I see here free shipping on all products. I sort of like that, but what I actually do is you're using the free shipping bar, okay? So put the little plane across, okay? So I uh, and change the text to free from free shipping for all products to free shipping worldwide today. Okay, it's very specific and it it's also adds a bit of urgency. Okay, if we have a look here, so I can see here that these you have been uh, you added some products about two weeks ago. This looks like a general store. Um, seeing some you know new and unique items um, here and this is why you install the commerce inspector so that you can actually uh, look at this information okay um, and there's heaps of cool little uh, gadgets here okay so but if we also have a look in the app so I was so I see you have that um, I've never used that so using privy I did see a pop-up but that was prior to me recording using best currency conversion using Hotjar or at least uh, the extension to sort of see what's going on. Okay, so first thing uh, I see is again, the homepage isn't that important. A lot of people put a lot of emphasis on the homepage and it is somewhat important for your SEO and that, but starting out, you don't want to spend a lot of time on your homepage. That's part of the reason that I recommend Brooklyn. This is the Brooklyn theme and you can tell from Commerce Inspector. Okay, now the theme name is pulled directly from their Shopify store. So if, if it's some obscure name, it's likely that they've changed it. But a lot of people never change it, so you can find the theme. Okay, that's another reason. You, so you can see that the last product was created about a few days ago. So you can see here you've got your mailing list, which is nice. You've got your policies. You've done well. Um, I don't see a tracking. Okay, so install Aftership and uh, get some tracking set up. Um, let me see. Okay, so you don't have it here either. I see you got blog. Make sure that all these policies, except change it from catalog to shop now, have about us, contact us, FAQs, and track order. All right, remove all these others. These are only needed in the footer. They're not needed up the top there. Under under your shop now, you have all your subcategories of your different collections. Okay, so if we go catalog. Okay, and see, we've got it connected to your collections here, but what you want to do is you make it one less step so that they can get straight to the collection they need to, all right? So let's let's go summer collection. All right, so I can see here you've got sort by uh, best selling, you've got these, um, whatever these mini window groove cleaning dust pans are. Um, now, all right, so I can see here that you've got these ticks, remove that. Remove this um, privy discount thing. You don't want that. You want Wheelio, okay? A lot of people tell me not to, that Wheelio isn't that good, but everyone that has taken the leap and actually installed it has said that their uh, conversion rate as well as um, collecting emails and stuff just in general has definitely seen a boost. So what you want to do is I don't use this buy with PayPal button. A lot of people do it, but I don't, okay? So remove that. Like the text, you need reviews. Um, so I'm not sure what's with the ticks. Uh, in terms of early reviews, to remove that and make that stars. The ticks, people associate stars as reviews. It's really important that you don't break that. Um, I also recommend you get personalized by Limespot. I like your currency converter and it looks like it's auto changed to Australian unless this is an Australian store. Um, 
your add to cart button you need a trust badge as well okay so you, a trust badge does make quite a difference it's one of the basic things but a lot of people forget about it makes a difference okay so I see you got it set to draw as well um, I presume at this stage in your journey you're probably not paying taxes so take that out just say um, uh, free shipping because you're they're not paying shipping okay so free shipping uh, discounts calculated at checkout I do recommend you changing it to a page uh, yeah, cart page because then you can upsell them okay um, all right so if we go to checkout anyway and this loads and you like my bottle pretty cool huh? um, all right so you need the conversion pirate checkout hack you actually need to do this very soon it's really important a lot of people forget it you also need your policies down here okay so when you generate your policies it should show up down here but it doesn't look like they're showing up um, so you need to do those two things I would also suggest making your logo just in the center okay especially on mobile it just looks nicer um, so have your policies the conversion pirate checkout hack I have a previous video on that just go and watch that it'll teach you how to do it super easy super simple um, now with free shipping as well I assume you're not but make sure as well with, if you're doing that to do a um, little hack um, with free shipping that mainly works with free shipping is uh, priority processing and you add an extra $4.99 for priority processing it means you do have to have a good relationship with this supply um, for fast processing not fast shipping processing and about one in five customers will take that up okay so that's that'll add to about an extra five to ten percent um, of your overall um, average order value just by doing those few things okay so thank you for submitting that one declure next one we got geek fresh clothing I like this image straight out of chemistry <laughs> cool are you ready for Christmas get your geek on now my geeks always on all right so I'm a geek so I actually quite relate to this store it's pretty cool um, okay so if we have a look here now, if we go into Commerce Inspector, this is what you need to get in the habit of. We got Brooklyn again. We got products we got about five days ago. It looks like your average product price is about $24.99, pretty much by the looks of it, is all $24.99. Um, that you did launch a number of products and obviously haven't recently. If we have a look here again, you got Clavio, good. And that's the previous one, they need Clavio too, sorry. Um, you got Wheelio, good. You got reviews, you got two reviews, I'll have to verify which. Uh, you got Currency Converter, that's good. Um, now also I suggest for everyone to get SMS bump I have a video on that as well I suggest going to watch that that is literally I have a video where one dollar generated over eleven hundred dollars in sales okay absolutely insane margins um, return on investment using that okay so we got the feedback so I presume this is Yopo yes oh no it's hot chow, sorry um, all right so we scroll down so you got your Instagram um, this is too big okay this is very jarring uh, I know this is your homepage, but I would at least make that 50% smaller. You look at most websites and they have things like that, and uh, it's it's just there. Okay, you need to make these at least 50%. I'd actually make it 75% because you just wanted to get the point across. I like what you've done. Everything else here is absolutely gorgeous, um, and I like how you have um, to get their emails. It's very good. So let's have a look at this one straight out of chemistry. All right, so again, you've got your shop, you've got your contact us, put your about us um, up there as well. That's looking very good. I love the logo, that's so cool. Okay, um, and you've got your size guide, you got your nice size guide going there, which I presume is an app, I'm just not sure which. Uh, this website uses cookies, okay. Now, you've got your, uh, live, your live chats on this side, okay, mate? I suggest that, I see you using Beardy King. Try and use, once you especially scale, use Recart, okay? Because then you can also capture their messenger. I like you've got um, the trust badge, okay? Trust badge is good. Um, much of a muchness. You probably want to use one of the other types of trust badges that has like the um, actual different payment options like PayPal and stuff. I like that you've got a little video, you've got a description, you've got your upsells, and you are using Yotpo. Okay, and that's really good. Um, as a whole, this is uh, really good. There is an app. Oh, you've already got it, so it already shakes. And you must have watched more, one of my other videos on it, which is fine. Um, okay, and you've got emails. Um, I'm not sure. Is this personalizer? I'm not sure, but I personalize by LimeSpot. That's fine. I would also, especially for t-shirts, bulk order discounts is important. So um, look up some bulk order apps, okay? Uh, that'll help with your average order value. You know, you give buy two, get 10% off, okay? And so automatically that'll increase, increase your average order value. 
and then I could already see there had already popped up so I, that's why it's not popping up um, now one thing as well you need the free shipping bar I don't know if you run shipping or not um, I assume for a lot of print on demand they do run shipping paid shipping okay so uh, I don't see anything about shipping okay that's important that they at least if you if you have it in your product description or up in the top okay I suggest free shipping bar as the name suggests it's free um, if you run free shipping put free shipping worldwide today with the little plan around it if you don't just put um, whatever the requirement is so like fifty dollars or twenty five dollars to for free shipping okay because you want to really try and have a home uh, because you want to use that in the actual Facebook marketing also okay so for starters I'm not extra large <laughs> whatever uh, I clearly just was not thinking okay so again if you aren't running shipping make sure you do that go into your edit languages and just literally type in the word shipping it'll come up with a filter you'll find that really important okay guys now the other thing is I like how you set it to your car page make sure that you have um, I also suggest as a little hack um, have your safe checkout button get a developer to put it up here test it on mobile and desktop to make sure it looks good um, and that will help because you're essentially you're making a mini funnel where they have two options to click okay um, now with the PayPal button yeah that's fine there now again with personalizing you can do in-card upsells really important don't forget that if we go to your checkout sorry <clears throat> We go to your checkout. All right, cool. Your pixel is firing. If you haven't watched my video on uh, the Facebook hack for um, actually making it look like your pixel has fired a purchase, I suggest going to watch it. It's pretty funny. So go large and in the middle again. I like what you've got. You got the conversion pirate checkout hack. You got your policies down the bottom there. Again, if your shipping is free, do the um, priority processing. Um, upsell at $4.99 guarantee you one five pick it up and that's all you need to do um, now I think you are using SMS bump based on the change here but if you're not install SMS bump okay uh, so you got Clavio and SMS bump will help you with your remarketing which is really important that's where a lot of your money comes from all right so um, now oh, sorry I should say I used to use the save five but I don't anymore um, take that out I find that it didn't really make much of a difference to conversion rate take it out it actually gives you more money and you can use that money to then be more because if you have a five percent there I've changed my strategy so your first remarketing doesn't have a discount okay and so uh, basically you're not wanting to confuse them so the first one they don't get a discount at all um, and this will work well with remarks so just take that out okay that'll help boost your profits a bit more hunt wonders okay so I like the theme uh, again if we have a look here venture okay in this case uh, if we have a look at some of the products uh, this is high ticket products for sure um, now you need to install apps for sure uh, from what I'm seeing um, you got your talk talk app um, all right so live chat so don't miss the insider join now for free so is this what is this is this like a for um yeah so is this like travel agency travel agency yeah okay this is obviously very different to something that I've done with a typical e-com store but that's fine is uh, so obviously looking at this you got your terms you got you get in touch um, it's really hard to read this I would change that so it's a bit easier to read it okay it's really important um, our cause contact us vision mission to account yep I like what you've done here you've done some customization uh, click here to view the best offer so is that the add to cart button okay all right so it is okay and then it takes you right and so then you've customized it with these different fields uh, like a booking right 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 okay uh, this is a difficult one because I've okay so you've got because this is on shop for oh, I have to right um, I can't uh, that one do, 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 do. okay please provide all right that's a uh, a big e-com purchase 
I've never seen a stool like this, if I'm honest. Alright, uh... Okay. So... I know you've gotten some orders, but that black background is just really jarring. Alright, I know you've done some changes. You've got your service fee, your taxes. Um, definitely still use the conversion pirate checkout hack. I like what you've sort of done there with your trust badge. Um, now, I don't see... Uh, because you are using Shopify, it'll work well, in, but I'm not sure how this would work with your business model, is um, definitely still get Wheelio. You definitely need like an ESP, like Clavio. You definitely need SMS bump because especially for high ticket like this, people are going to hesitate. So this is really important. Your A lot of your sales are going to come from heavy amounts of remarketing for high ticket. I know that people expect this for traveling, but this is still technically a high ticket in the service type of industry. So you definitely want SMS bump. You definitely want Clavio. You need to spend the time to get those set up and spend the time on the remarketing because you know you spend 50 bucks to acquire a customer. You make 500 bucks type thing. All right. So that's what you pretty much need to do. I also suggest a currency conversion. I think you already have one though. Um, but if not, definitely currency converter. Um, but you just work on those apps. Um, obviously, you don't need apps like Aftership and stuff like that because that's not the type of business model that you have. Um, but definitely start with, uh, you need an ESP as well as uh, text marketing. But as a whole, it's good. I'd, uh, but I would change a bit of the color scheme. Like, it's just a bit hard. I would also, if you could, try and move this under here, okay? Having it underneath your... Um, actual footer is not recommended now i think you are using fomo as well fomo is for uh, fear of missing out it's an app it's a really good app um, one i highly recommend i see you only use paypal i'm not sure if that's based on your country but if you can try and get credit card that will help boost your conversion rates further all right um all right so last one is whatever quasmoto quasmoto okay <clears throat> So if we have a look here, we've got a 1-800 number to try and help boost that. you got that. All right. If we have a look at Commerce Inspector using Shoptimize. Okay, so this is version 4. Uh, for those wondering, there is a version 5 of Shoptimize. I'm going to have to refresh because uh, sometimes Commerce Inspector f screws up. All right. So if uh, so, general store, as we can immediately see, uh, just heaps of uh, heaps of items. We got apps, we got looks, we got best currency converter, we got recap. I think you're using FOMO. <laughs> These glasses are so cool. All right. So, um, because this is shoptimized, a lot of it has it embedded already. So, being a general store, this works well. You got your shaky add to cart, that's nice. You got your shipping. Um, you've got your wide buy from us. So again, don't forget to change things like that. I've seen a lot of people like this ordering from Shoptimized. It only takes you a few minutes, but it's important to do. I think you are using the pop-up from Shoptimized as well. Uh, heaps of people. Oh, gosh. Um, buying those sunglasses. you got your 60-day money-back guarantee. you got that. you got your number. I'm not sure if that's a real number. Uh, you got your track order. You've got most of that in place. Um, I'm not sure if you have SMS bump. It looks like you have recart. You need Clavio capture their emails as well as I'm not seeing Wheelio. Uh, really important. Um, you want personalizer as well. You can see how there's a lot of similarities between all of these. Okay. Now, obviously, because Shoptimizer already has a button up there, you can see how sort of this is really just trying to urge them with a, a timer as well. Um, order in the next 29 minutes. You want to do post purchase upsells. Okay. It looks like you're either getting some sales or a lot of sales. Um, I can't see your, your traffic. Um, Commerce Inspector doesn't work properly like that. Um, but you want an in-card upsell, all right? So that will help boost your average order value. For items like this as well, don't ever forget bulk order discounts, okay? Bulk order discounts are your friend. Uh, they're really going to help, especially for items like this. I know people think that oh, I only buy one pair of sunnies, but a lot of people will actually buy two. $30, you know, you give them a 10% discount for buying two. So they get, um, you know, six bucks off and there will be people that will buy two. Okay, you'll be really surprised. And that's why you want to do these post-purchase upsells and stuff like that. Um, I am, there's another app called uh, Sweet Upsell that I am testing. Uh, made from another big dropshipper from Australia, Tristan Broden. Um, now we can see you got your, your logo in the middle there. You've got your conversion pirate checkout hack. 
you need all three policies, okay? Now, what people don't actually know is that Google actually crawls your website. Now, the word crawl is sort of a bad word, but it's just a word. But um, it basically looks at your website and makes your policies, checks for policies and stuff like that. And what it actually does is if you don't have the policies sort of in the right places that its algorithm expects, can rank you lower, all right? So as you start to scale your business, what's gonna happen is you're gonna get organic sales, okay? That's never really what's gonna happen, and that's one thing you wanna work on, is I would rather 10 organic sales only making 150 uh, revenue a day with you know $80 profit margin on doing jackal work than having to spend a heap on ads, okay? And so SEO is important, don't forget it. Um, so make sure that you go through and always check your funnel. Go all the way to the end and check your funnel. Make sure you got your post purchase up. So I have heaps of videos on that. Again, there's obviously my course, there's heaps of material that I have that will help every one of you to get to that next level. There's a lot of similarities between a lot of them. You're all on the right path. Um, I've used all of these themes, make those few changes, and I guarantee you, each of you are probably gonna see some uplift in your various areas of industry. Um, now, obviously that doesn't mean in relation to your Facebook ads, that's different again, go watch those videos. Okay guys, so I hope this has been helpful. I'm trying to keep them short, I'm trying to keep them sweet um, so that you will enjoy it. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell uh, so you get updated straight away. And follow me at Ricky Hayes IG, bam. And uh, I hope you all have a lovely day. Uh, been trying to catch up on various things. I have a competition going on as well. Um, that'll be it. Thank you very much for your time, guys. Have a lovely day. Take care and goodbye.